Now you can use any deployed contract on any blockchain with the help of third web. So in this video, I'll show you that if a contract is deployed, how you can connect that contract in third web and get all those utility function, which you can use it in your tab. So this is all the contract which I have deployed and you can able to find it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy another contract but not with the help of third web. We're going to use Remix ID for deployment. And after deployment, we're going to simply connect that contract here in the third web dashboard. Okay, so let's come back to, so here I'm in the Remix ID and this is the contract we have built in the chat GTP memberships web 3.0 application. So I believe that you guys have watched it. And this is the contract which I'm going to deploy to Polygon. And we're going to simply do the verification and connect this contract to the third web dashboard. So that's what we're going to do it. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to come back to the plugin section. And here you have to search for a plugin called Sourceify. So this is the plugin which you have to search. In your case, it will say activate. So make sure to activate that. Once you activate the plugin, make sure to reload the browser so the plugin can successfully connect it. So once you're done with that, now all you have to do is to come back and contact. I'm going to deploy to Polygon Mumbai and we're going to verify it. And then we're going to simply connect to the third web dashboard. So first thing you have to do is come back here in the compiler section and check your compile. So this is the version we have using. You can go with that and simply click on this compile so it will compile the contract once you compile the contract come back to the deployment section and make sure to connect with your metamask injected provider okay and pick a network which you want to deploy your contract or you want to simply verify your contract so make sure to pick the network right network and with that then you have to have a fund in your wallet so you can make the transactions now once you will install the plugin you will have this particular icon simply click on that and here you will find these two options so if a contract is deployed to the sourceify or any network you can simply pull that and you can simply have a look at the code but in this video we're going to use this particular function called verifying and we're going to verify the contract and then we're going to simply connect it with the third dashboard so now what you have to do is very first thing let's deploy the contract because we need the address of the contract so here i have to pass two things i have to simply pass the name so i'll say the blockchain coder then i can give the symbol i'll say btc and once that once we're done with these two things name and the symbol i can click on this transaction and it's going to make the transaction so just wait and here the transaction is taking place and I will simply click on this confirm and it's going to complete the transaction just wait and we'll have the instant of our contract with all the functionality and here the transaction went through and we got the address of our contract. So if you copy that one and if you come back to the polygon scan Mumbai because we have to deploy to the test network simply paste the address and click on the search and you can able to find the contract that it's deployed 16 seconds ago. So our contract is successfully deployed. Now the point is that I want to use this particular contract and I want to connect with third web. How we can do that? So for doing that, all we have to do is come back here in the Remix ID and you have to click on this icon and we're going to use this particular verify one. So before we deploy, we have to use the Sourceify to verify our contract and then we can simply connect with the third web. So click on that. And here you can read about it that how this particular plugins work and if you want to do any changes you can do that so i have already done this test so let me remove this and now let me show you so if you click on that it will give you all the network which you want to verify your contract and connect with the polygon so you can use this particular plugin for that so we have bunch of networks so if you want to go with ethereum gorilla sofali robston rinkibai so we have a bunch of network which we have covered in the last video that these are the verified network we have which you can use for deployment of your contract. So here I'm going to select this Polygon test net, test net Mumbai because this is where we have deployed our contract. So select that one. And here we have to provide the address of our contract. So this is the address. And if you click on that, this is the only contract we have here. So we are using that. So make sure to pick the right contract. And now click on the verify. So if you click on the verify here you can see it's going to be loading and just wait and here the contract is successfully verified so if you click on this contract repository it will take you to this so for sourceify.dev and here you can able to find the contract where you have deployed because what this plugin is doing is it's uploading to this particular location and from there the third web is going to pull the data about your contract and is going to generate all the function which you can use in your tab so once we're done with that simply close this one and here the contract is successfully verified and now what you can do is simply come back here we need the address of the contract still 
So this is what we need. And now you can come back to the third base dashboard. So here you will find all the contract which you will deploy, whether you will use the like like all the contract which third bits provide or you can simply import your own. So here you will have this two option. You can say deploy contract. So if you click on the deploy contract, it will take you here and here you will find all the contract which is already here, which you can use it in your project, but you can't able to customize that one. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. If you come back here, here we have this option called import contract. So click on that and here you have to pass the address of the contract. Okay, so make sure to first verify the contract and here you have to pass the address. So if you click on that, here you will find bunch of network, but we'll go with the Mumbai one. This is the one I'm going to pick and here I'm going to paste the address. Okay, now if I click on the import, it's going to import the contract and it's going to create all the functionality which we need to interact with the blockchain. So here you can see it's importing. If you would not verify this, this process would not take place. It will tell you to verify the contract then it's going to attach to the dashboard. So it's loading, just wait. And it's taking a little bit of time because it's going to make a gasless transaction. And here it's successfully attached to the third web dashboard and here it's telling me to make this transaction. So click on the sign in. And again, this is a gasless transaction which we have done for adding this entire contract into our dashboard. It's the dashboard of the contract which you have deployed. So if you come back to the contract snippet, and here you will have that. So this is how you can use to connect with your application. What are the libraries you have used? If you want to use JavaScript, you can use this particular way to connect. If you want to use React, React Native, Web3. So all the options are given. And here you will have all the function we have declared in the contract. So we have approve, save transfer, save transfer from, set approval or transfer form. And in the read, we have all of this function. Okay, so hope you guys can appreciate that how it's work and here you can easily able to connect with all the applications. So it looks pretty fine to me. So this is how you can connect the deployed contract to third wave and now you can utilize the thing. So if you come back to the source code section and here you will find the contract which you have deployed and the source code. So it's taking a little bit of time, but it will give you all the information like the entire code base and the ABI. So it's loading. I don't know why it's taking a little bit time, but you will find all the data. So I hope you guys have got an idea that how it's work. You got the address of the contract. You can simply click on here and you can very check the contract in the polyscan. Like you have deployed five minutes ago and you haven't verified the contract yet, but you can do that very easily. So it's still it's taking a little bit time. I don't know why, but here you can able to find all the information. So you can simply explore. We have approval, we have the analytical part, we have the settings, which you can simply configure that. This one is a really powerful plugin, which you can use if you really want to work on a custom blockchain network, where you have to simply upload the contract and verify the way they want you to do. And this will help you a lot. So again, I want you to come and have a look at this particular contract. It's really very good. And this will save a lot of your time. You don't need to do the like terminal configuration because most of you are newbie and you guys are not that comfortable with the terminal. And because of that, you encounter a lot of error when you try to deploy a contract. So just come and have a look, explore this. And the one thing I want to highlight is that like Remix ID is such a powerful tool which you have to use if you really want to become a smart contract developer, smart contract auditor, because the kind of plugins it provide you that will save a lot of your time and that will give you a better idea for designing the smart contract and doing the security test. So come here, check the library, the plugin library section, simply come remove and here you will find bunch of library. So let's explore one by one. Soon I'm going to make a video where I'm going to show you that what are the libraries which you can use on the regular basis and which saves a lot of my time. So I'm going to share the list of all the libraries, but I want you to come and have a look, read the docs that what it does and they have explained everything. If you come back to the home section, here you can able to find some of the libraries. So let me close this one. And here we have a lot of things. This is the code analyzer. We have the smart contract, sorority library and discover protocols. So bunch of things they have here. So I wanted to come here and spend some time, try to look at the plugins and the features it provide that will give you a better idea. So that's the only thing I want to talk about. And I believe that you guys have got an idea that how you can do that because I was getting a request to make a tutorial on this particular issue because some of you want to connect with the deployed contract to third web. And that's why I made this video. So that's the only thing. If you're new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot. And if you really have any doubt, any confusion, any, and you want to ask me anything, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.